Uh, next question comes from Rufus W on Facebook. I was looking at some stout recipes and noticed that when it came to water additions, there were either very small acid additions or none at all. Can you help me understand that? Well, Rufus, you've come to the right place. Uh, this is stout season, baby. All right. Like right now, we've been realizing at work, it's one of those things where you're making a lot of yellow beer all, all year round. And then now this is the time of year where you're starting to make those dark beers. And then all of a sudden, uh, the acid addition starts to, starts disappearing from the recipe sheet. Reason being is, is uh, roast malt drives down uh, on its own uh, the pH of your mash. Also, um, many caramel malts uh, at, a, at a higher rate than base malt can drive down uh, the pH of your mash. So... Um, being that darker beers, uh, stouts, porters, brown ales, what have you can have elevated levels of all of those things. A lot of times you might start seeing some issues with your, uh, with your mash temp or with, with your mash pH. Um, some, uh, most people can just cut the acid addition out. Like in my area, you can just cut the, the acid addition out, um, and, and still hit where you want to um, w without having the acid addition because of that roast malt slash caramel malt uh, usage in the grist. But uh, some people, it will push it down too low. So if you want to be hitting, because sometimes people like to get into the, to the 5.4 range for pH on dark beers, and they're finding that they're hitting 4.9 or something like that. Um, you can look at, uh, you can look at, um, Calcium carbonate, uh, baking soda, unless I'm just air, air brain farting here and saying the wrong thing, um, but bumping that, uh, bumping that pH back up, um, bump that into your calculator, your water calculator, and try that. Sometimes there are some issues with getting that into uh, solution. Um, I'm the kind of person that adds it as I'm mashing in. Um, I know sometimes people like to add it to the water and try to get it to dissolve ahead of time. I don't have an issue with any of that. Um, but uh, my one buddy that does have to use uh, baking soda when they're making stout, um, he uh, he just adds it, you know, dry into the mash as he's mashing in and uh, it, it works appropriately. So yeah, Rufus, that is the deal. And you can uh, and, and you can you can check that stuff out. That should explain it. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're gonna maybe be over here or over here. Appreciate you watching.